Hello everyone, my name is Mohammed and my name is Amma. Today we have an article that's been published in 2016 by by Mitchell Jagger and the title of this article is about uh, proteomic analysis of a human tooth pulp proteomes a comparison of caries resistant and caries susceptible person. I will introduce the topic and I will give the materials and method that you used in the, in the article and then I will pass on to uh, continue from the results and uh, discussion and we will end our presentation by conclusion. Enjoy! The general article has been published by the General of Proteomics, which is an official general of the Arabian Proteomics Association. The author is Michel Jagger and his colleagues. He is a scientist at Institute of Physiology. Academy of Science, the Czech Republic. He had 13 research and he's, he had two projects. Also, he had 82 citations. In fact, this article was published in 2016 as a more investigation on an article which was published in 2014. And this article has been cited twice. Most people in the world suffer from the dental cares more than 90% of adults experience cares on animal and road surface during their life. Only a small rate of the world population, approximately 10%, is well protected against dental cares. This anti-cares resistance could be caused by the immune system, composition of saliva, nourishment, plaque composition, specific dental care, in, and many other factors. Last but not least, resistance could be caused by the presence of specific protein antibacterial agents inside the tooth tissues. Identifying effective and safe oral medicine and determining the causes of carrier resistance were viewed as the main aim of the study. In addition to elucidating the mechanism of natural human resistance, to the development of dental cares by studying the proteomes of tooth pulp isolated from patients who display different prevalence of tooth cares. This study is the first routine tooth pulp comparison of sound teeth obtained from care resistant first care susceptible people. The materials and methods started with the sample preparation followed by two-dimensional differential gel electrophoresis approached in a connection with the MSMS to investigate the different protein in the tooth pulp of the human third molar obtained from the carry resistance and carry susceptible people, then followed by the validation of protein expression by Western plot analysis. For the simple preparation, the third permanent molar was extracted for different clinical reasons. From 12 adults. The obtained teeth were divided into two independent groups. One group, six samples from carriers as a group, we call them R group. On the second group formed from the teeth from the carriers as a susceptible group, we call them R S group. The sentiment was removed and each teeth was horizontally cut below the level of enema. The root were obtained then crushed into smaller fragments and the dental pulp was carefully removed and prepared for the two dim dimension dating. For the two dimensional dating analysis, the protein samples from the carrier susceptible groups was labeled with the cyanine 3 and the protein sample from the carrier resistance group was labeled with the cyanine 5 where the sinus 2 was used to label an equal mixture of protein sample from both groups to form an internal standard. Label samples were obtained combined in, in relation 1 to 1 to 1, and then followed that the azoelectric focusing was carried out at 15 degrees Celsius with the protein IAF cell system under normal oil for both strips. Two dimension digits and gels were one twice for each format 17 cm as well as the 7 cm gel as a technical replicate. The samples were applied to broad range 17 cm 
for uh, with the BH3 to 10 and I'll uh, in LIBG strips and the second stage the two-dimensional gauges analysis assembled well applied to narrow range 7 centimeter with the BH4 to 7 IBG strips After the two-dimensional gauges analysis, the image analysis was done by BDQ Quest TM software, and followed that the protein identification done by the nano-liquid chromatography tandem mass spectrometry, in which the protein were identified by correlating tandem mass spectra to the international protein index, and then finally with the uh, Western plot analysis was used at the validation of protein uh, protein expression on SDS page. Hi, this is Ammar. I will continue from the result. Uh, actually, 16 significantly changed spots with unique protein identifications corresponding to 12 non uh, redundant proteins. In the large gel image analysis, uh, 9 protein spots exhibited significant differences when comparing the caries resistant and caries susceptible samples. Out of the 9 spots, Five exhibited greater and four showed lower expression in the caries resistant samples compared to the caries susceptible sample. The mini gel image analysis showed seven protein spots with significant differences when comparing the caries resistant and caries susceptible samples. Six spots exhibited greater and one spot exhibited lower expression of the caries resistant samples compared to the caries susceptible samples. A solid line for upregulation and dashed line for downregulation in the caries resistant samples. The spots that were statically up or downregulated on the 17 cm gels and their corresponding proteins that were identified and identical with spots in this gel are indicated with arrows. The range of spots between 20 to 150 kilo Dalton. As you can see in this table, all of the result of protein identification in the selected spots along with a comparison of caries resistant protein spot relative to the caries susceptible group. Actually, 16 protein spots were successfully identified after the uh, nano liquid chromatography MSMS analysis of spots of interested on both two-dimensional DIG genes by using the mascot engine against the IBI human database. Confirmation of protein expression by Western blot to evaluate the performance of the two-dimensional DIG quantitative proteomic approach used in this study. The expression level of tooth pulp proteins alpha 1 antitrypsin and ATP synthase subunit beta were further examined by Western blood on SDS page. ATP synthase subunit beta was significantly upregulated in the caries resistant group as compared to the caries susceptible group. One intensive spot of alpha 1 antitrypsin as shown in the slide, spot number 10 was slightly downregulated in the caries resistant group, whereas two other less intensive alpha 1 antitrypsin spots, spots 1 and spots 2, were strongly upregulated in the caries resistant group as compared to the caries susceptible group. The agreement between the results obtained by two dimension DIG and Western plot, respectively signify the validity of the proteomic approach. In this study, 12 proteins were found to be differentially expressed between the caries resistant and caries susceptible samples. Alpha-1 antitrypsin effects in the tooth pulp, we can hypothesize that the increased level of alpha-1 antitrypsin could support inhibition of the activity of serine proteins in tooth tissues leading to an elevated resistance of teeth to the development of tooth caries. It could also act as anti-inflammatory in the patient without dental caries in their sound oral cavity. In terms of ATP synthase and phosphoglycerate kinase 1, 
are important enzymes that provide energy for the cell to use, which could indicate an enhanced cell turnover and production of ATP in these teeth. They tried to find the tooth protective factors in the samples. These factors could be employed in various practical products and applications. The study findings of the proteins probably responsible for the resistance of human to dental caries might be built upon in several ways. Uh, if the anti caries function of the presented proteins is confirmed, they could be tested in toothpaste as a nutritional uh, additives or as a novel drug treatment. To sum up, this study presented for the first time a proteomic to dimensional DIG analysis to elucidate the change in expression between the third molar tooth pulp of caries resistant and caries susceptible people. This study found overexpressed protein in the caries resistant samples. These proteins play roles in protein metabolism, cytoskeletal protein binding, calcium ion binding, or R structural component of the cytoskeleton. They assumed that these proteins are likely involved in the natural resistance of teeth to the development of the dental caries. On the other hand, some proteins were overexpressed in caries susceptible samples. They believed that this study improves current understanding and providing information that will help to achieve better stomatology prevention and treatment. We are reaching the end, but we want to end it with a brief review of this article. What do you think of further study of this direction? If you, might, if you ask me about my yeah. opinion, yeah. Uh, I think uh, further study in this direction would be necessary to better understand anti caries mechanisms. Ah, yeah, exactly. And it can be used as a novel drug treatment. Yeah, that's true. Thank you for listening. Good day.